Did you know that forest disturbances are a constant factor in the history of Earth? Historical sources show indication of floods, fires and other threats people and animals faced in the forest. The Little Ice Age is an example during which Europe and North America were subject to much colder winters than during the 20th century. But what we are facing now is different. Extreme weather phenomena have been striking not only the Caribbean or Asia, but also Europe during the last years, and especially in 2018. In the first months and autumn of this year, severe storms hit several European countries, causing massive destruction in the forests, for example the Via Storm in northeast Italy. In the summer, fires destroyed a great deal in Greece and Spain, but also in Sweden. At the same time, in Poland, nature conservationists and the European Commission were discussing the impact of bark beetle outbreaks in Bielowieża forest. The state forest decided to cut the infected trees. Afterwards, the discussion focused on the forest regeneration approach. What can we do to make European forests more adapted to climate change? First, we have to consider our forest management approach. If we want to protect our forests and make them resilient to disturbances, we need to discuss mitigation, prevention and adaptation opportunities. Second, we can use technology to create prediction models and adapt tree species to lessen the impact of storms. Scientists and practitioners agree that a good strategy to reduce storm damage risk is to limit the height of the trees. Third, in the case of wildfires, one preventative option is to build fire breaks by clearing vegetation. Surface fires, burning on the forest floor for instance, tend to spread slowly. They can be easily controlled. This practice can be good as it helps plants to regenerate and reduce fuel for wildfires. Using animals to graze dense forests to reduce the severity of wildfires is also an opportunity. Fourth, a dense, overcrowded forest leads to competition between plants for valuable water, sunlight and nutrients. That results in a stressed forest. To reduce the risk of biotic threats such as the bark beetle on these forests, we need to ensure diversity, different tree ages, classes and types. Species mix also helps to keep trees healthy. Finally, research shows that very often one disturbance follows another. The Czech Republic is dealing with bark beetle infestation after severe storms in winter 2017 to 2018 and we do not know what to expect in the future after drought, forest fires and other disturbances this year. To prevent and mitigate the impact of these disturbances, we need transnational collaboration. We can only prevent this if neighbours act in coordinated ways. And we need to gather the best available knowledge and practices to build capacities to respond to disturbances and to enhance the resilience of our forests. Collect. Connect. Exchange. Science. Policy. Practice.